Hi everyone, Lando Assistant here for our math problems of the day. What we have here are two equations involving negative exponents. The first one is solve for x given the equation x raised to negative 1 plus 3x raised to negative 2 is equal to 0. And the second one is 3x raised to negative 2 plus 2x raised to negative 1 equals positive 1. Let's start with the first problem. I am going to show you two ways of solving this problem. Let's call them as method number one and method number two. For the first method, let's begin with the given equation. Then we look for the common factor between x raised to negative one and three x raised to negative two. The common factor is x raised to negative two. And by factoring out x raised to negative two, we can get the other factor by dividing x raised to negative 1 by x raised to negative 2. Since we are dividing here exponential number with the same base, we copy the common base x and we subtract their exponents. So we have negative 1 minus negative 2. And this is equal to negative 1. Negative of negative 2 is positive 2. And this is equal to positive 1. That's why we now have here x raised to positive 1, where the exponent now is positive 1. Then, 3x raised to negative 2 divided by x raised to negative 2. When you divide x raised to negative 2 by itself, that is equal to 1. And so 3 times 1 is equal to 3. And then we copy the right side. Now, since the product of these two factors is equal to 0, that means that one of them must be 0. Either x raised to negative 2 equals 0, or the other factor x plus 3 is equal to 0. For x raised to negative 2 equals 0, we can rewrite this to positive exponent as 1 over x squared. Notice now that the negative 2 becomes positive 2. That is equal to 0. This fraction 1 over x raised to the second can only be equal to 0 if the numerator is 0 because we cannot have a 0 in the denominator. Since our numerator is already 1, it is impossible for 1 over x squared to be equal to 0. And therefore, we now say that this left side is not a solution. We cannot find a value for x such that 1 over x squared is equal to 0 because division by 0 is not allowed. It is undefined. Now for the right side, we can solve here for x by subtracting both sides by 3 to get x equals negative 3. And this is a valid solution. So we now say that for method number 1, our answer is x equals negative 3. Now let's compare this with method number 2. In method number 2, let's begin again with the given equation. But instead of factoring, we are going to rewrite x raised to negative 1 into positive exponent. The same with 3x raised to negative 2. So x raised to negative 1 is just the same as 1 over x raised to positive 1, or simply 1 over x, and 3 times x raised to negative 2 is just the same as 3 over x raised to positive 2. Then copy equals 0. We have now here a rational equation. And to solve for this, we are going to get the LCD. And the LCD is x squared. We multiply each of these terms by that LCD. So 1 over x multiplied by x squared. 3 over x squared multiplied by x squared and 0 multiplied by x squared, where x squared is our LCD. Then simplifying, x squared divided by x is x times 1 is x. So this part here becomes x. Then x squared divided by x squared is 1 times 3 is 3. So this entire second term is 3. And then the right side is 0. So we now arrive at x plus 3 equals 0 because this part now here is x this part here is 3 and solving now for x we have x equals negative 3 and this answer agree with our answer using method number 1 so we have the same answer x equals negative 3
And comparing now these two methods, notice that in my experience, I find the second method easier to use. And so we are going to use the second method in order to answer our second problem. Let's go to the second problem. So given 3x raised to negative 2 plus 2x raised to negative 1 equals 1, solve for x. So the first thing that we are going to do is write this in standard form where the right side is equal to 0. And then let's convert our negative exponent to positive exponent. Or that's also a way of saying let's change our negative attitude about negative exponent into positive attitude. So how do we do that? We retain 3 in the numerator but x raised to negative 2 becomes a denominator. x raised to negative 2 becomes 1 over x2 positive 2 and so multiply that by 3. 3 times 1 is 3 and then copy x squared. And so we now have this 3 over x squared. Similarly for the second term, we have 2 times x raised to negative 1 which can be written as 1 over x raised to positive 1 and that is equal to 2 over x. I just write this exponent 1 to emphasize that we change from negative 1 to positive 1. And then we copy the minus 1, copy the equality sign, copy 0. At this point, let's look for the least common denominator between x squared and x. That LCD is x squared and we multiply each of these terms by that LCD. So at this part, we can divide x squared by x squared to get 1. So we have 3. So this becomes 3. And here, x squared divided by x is x times 2 is 2x. We have plus 2x. And then x squared times 1 is x squared, copy the minus sign. The right side is 0. Then we can rearrange these terms as x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0 by first multiplying both sides by negative 1 and then arrange the terms in descending order. This is a quadratic equation that can easily be solved by factoring. The factors are the quantity x minus 3 and the quantity x plus 1 equals 0. Since the product again of these two factors equals 0, one of the factors must be 0. Either the first factor is equal to 0 or the second factor is equal to 0. And solving now for x, here we have x equals positive 3 or x equals negative 1. And these are now our two solutions for the given problem.